Hello today's video we have the following content. 8 TV series criticized by the central media. If you haven't watched any of them, congratulations on your successful avoidance. The reputation of domestic dramas has been criticized since I don't know when. Domestic dramas have created many classics that viewers can't forget. However, in recent years, outstanding works have shown a trend of gradually decreasing. The title of the drama alone cannot arouse interest, and for some TV series, this is only part of it. Many internet users have said that nowadays domestic dramas have generally lost their standards in terms of actor acting, scripts and directors. Compared with more than a decade ago, the plot and the actor's appearance can be said to have taken a sharp turn for the worse. If you haven't watched the following TV series criticized by the official, then congratulations on your successful avoidance of a pit. The Deer in the Cauldron. I believe everyone has heard of the TVB version of The Deer in the Cauldron. This work is regarded as one of the classics by many netizens. The role of Wei Zia Abeo is played by Tony Loon Chui, who is deeply loved by the audience and leaves a deep impression. Although cunning and slick, he maintains the essence of kindness. The image of Kangxi created by Andy Law is full of domineering and humor. He is known as the most charming emperor in the Kangxi period. The Deer in the Cauldron has been remade into various versions one after another. Only this one has attracted widespread criticism. That is The Deer in the Cauldron, which was released in 2020 and starred by Zhang Yishin. Netizen scolded his role Wei Zia Abeo on the hot search. The main reason is that his acting skills are too poor and there is no point to watch. Let alone my acting skills. As soon as the TV series was broadcast, the camera immediately focused on Zhang Yishin's face. He wore a green hat, his expression was gracie and exaggerated, he winked, and began a storytelling-style self-introduction, which was very lively. Many viewers were probably disappointed after watching it. Some netizens also expressed the view that this is almost like a joke. Wei Zia Abeo is someone who knows, but people who don't know him may mistakenly think that he is imitating teacher Liu Xia Aling Tong. It's really too dramatic. Wei Zia Abeo is portrayed as a clever and intelligent character in the original novel. Zhang Yishin, however, interprets Wei Zia Abeo as a character who pursues vanity and has exaggerated expressions. This work is simply like Zhang Yishin's magic show. Netizens' complaints are not without reason, so it is not surprising that the final score is only 2.6 points. Even the central media avoided talking about it and directly criticized it. Gentlemen of East District 8 Gentlemen of East District 8 is led by Zhang Han and can be regarded as one of the greasy representatives of domestic TV series. No matter how stale and old-fashioned the plot is, we will forget it. What's going on? It involves breast groping and edge? Is it respect for the actress? It's simply challenging the audience's limits. This play is really too dazzling, and the overall viewing experience cannot be called anything else. In dramas, lines often involve edge plots. Expressions and movements are inseparable from superb lubrication skills. The final destination of such inferior films is to be forced offline. His rating is only 2.3 points. This may be the lowest rated work in domestic dramas, ever. I heard that Zhang Han spent four years of hard work to complete this script. He repeatedly emphasized that the difficulty of writing this script consumed a lot of hard work. Everything he did was to present a masterpiece to the audience. Zhang Han personally participated in every link from plot conception to the final film. Zhang Han even decided how the snowflakes should fall in the play. Ten years to sharpen a sword, as the ancient said. Where is the sincerity of those ten years hidden? This is a comment from the official media. Korean netizens have also criticized the drama, which is really incredible. It has become a shameful place abroad. In our minds, Zhang Han gave people the impression of a refreshing, bright and sunny big boy in his early years. His performance in Let's Watch Meteor Shower Together has become a precious childhood memory in the hearts of many people. The role of domineering president in the novel Shan Shan is coming brought the image in the novel to life in the interpretation. It has been widely praised and loved by the audience. It is still a drama that makes people salivate. It is regrettable that Zhang Han in the past can no longer return to the present. Thunder Warrior The female nurse wears a short skirt and high heels, a brand new uniform and a meticulous hairstyle, working in a luxurious office. Who would have thought that such a picture would be presented in a TV series about the War of Resistance? This TV series called Thunder Warrior or Bright Sword 3 was quickly removed from the shelves although it had just been aired. It was severely criticized by the People's Daily. The audience's IQ was insulted, which is the main reason. The actors in the play are all dressed in gorgeous costumes and are dazzling. 
The hair is fixed with hairspray and the style is a big back. The luxurious villa became the residence of the 8th Root Army, which is really incredible. When going to the front line to fight, they still did not forget to taste a cup of coffee with a little sugar, and applied hairspray before embarking on the journey. Some people would mistakenly think that this is a young master. The most outrageous thing is coming. Those female nurses who rescued the dying and the wounded on the battlefield, all wore short skirts, high heels, delicate makeup, and firm eyes. In the real anti-Japanese war period, it is important to understand. The 8th Ruth Army soldiers faced the dilemma of insufficient food and clothing. In the extremely cold climate, they occasionally gnawed on tree bark. However, the 8th Ruth Army soldiers and Fender Warrior were busy with cool actions and sweet love. They actually moved the routine of idle dramas to the theme of the anti-Japanese war. Isn't this the wrong script? The current anti-Japanese dramas are really promoting day by day, which is undeniable. Use backflips to avoid enemy artillery fire and go all out. It's simply challenging the audience's IQ. The Wind Rises in Wo Yong. This The Wind Rises in Wo Yong, which is hailed as the top domestic production web drama, has not yet met the audience. Looking forward to the release, everyone is in high spirits. Netizens realized after the show was broadcast that all their expectations were not fulfilled. The main reason is that the acting performance of the leading actors in the play is uneven. The focus of the audience's complaints is on Song Jin's styling and acting. The headgear is too ugly, which has exceeded the conventional cognition, the lines are lacking, lack of solid foundation, and the expression control is not in place. She often stares at the front with a pair of wandering eyes. Some netizens even said that Song Jin is considering quitting the show. Unexpectedly, the acting of the maid next to Song Jin has received unanimous praise. Netizens also turned their attention to another leading actor Wang Yibo and ridiculed him. His costume image is quite simple, and his acting shows an expressionless style. He and Song Jin show the same but different subtleties, and they present a wonderful resonance of similarity. Whenever he plays against Wang Xuan, he looks cold and his eyes flicker. It seems that he has not yet been put into work. Wang Xuan's acting skills make people feel ashamed, as if he was completely knocked down in an instant. In the drama, many actors chose to perform in their original voice. The actor's line skills faced great challenges here. Wang Yibo's speech was unclear, lacking logic, and seemed very boring. Without subtitles, it was difficult to understand what he said. He was almost beaten, especially compared with the supporting actor Song Yi. Yang Mi and others in the play. Disappointment is proportional to expectations. The higher the expectations, the deeper the disappointment. Even the People's Daily couldn't stand the situation. Criticized the performance of today's traffic actors. An excellent work ultimately requires the perfect match between the actor's acting skills and the role he plays. Only in this way can a masterpiece be created. Negotiator. This TV series, which is dubbed as a realistic theme, presents a love idol drama plot of the male and female protagonists. It is a complete deception, like selling dog meat with a sheep's head. It is far from the setting in the original promotion. Wang Zetao needs no further explanation as the leading actor. He is a traffic star, but his acting skills are not outstanding. In the drama, he spends most of his time playing cool and styling. Although Yang Mi has been involved in the entertainment industry since she was a child, she has not actually mastered the essentials of acting. She is about to enter her 40s and is still active in the idol circle. This is the essence of this drama. The role setting of the male protagonist is still a rich second generation. Various luxury cars and luxury goods keep flashing in front of the eyes, which is dazzling. The female protagonist plays a role similar to Cinderella. The plot is suspended and not grounded, which makes people feel a little unreal. Workplace life has nothing to do with the scenes portrayed in the publicity. After watching it, many viewers felt that the plot was not attractive enough and it was difficult to immerse themselves in it. The love story is full of incredible drama. The audience has almost no experience of being involved in it. The final score of this drama on Dubbin is 3.5 points. The People's Daily also commented bluntly that the plot is too exaggerated and unoriginal. The script is cliched, mediocre and lacks innovation. The audience may suffer from visual fatigue if they watch it for a long time. Negotiator is the title of the drama, so it should be consistent with it. It is not a youth idol drama that sticks to the old ways. Towards the gunfire. This TV series involving the theme of anti-Japanese war was also forced to be removed from the shelves. Netizens praised this drama as a god drama at the time. This article focuses entirely on love and has nothing to do with the anti-Japanese war.
The dressing style of the Star Wu killing is extremely inconsistent with the atmosphere of the time. It is similar to Thunder Warrior. He wore a uniform outfit, with a thick big back hair on his head, wearing sunglasses, and long leather boots. Some people might mistakenly think that this is a nobleman coming to rob. Unexpectedly. In the dense forest, there is an antique leather sofa. Wu Killen has been sitting on the sofa, looking free and confident. In addition, he always has endless ZD on hand. A soldier rushed to the battlefield alone, facing the attacks of many enemies, but he never managed to knock them down. That unshakable hairstyle is still the most eye-catching. The hairstyle is always kept neat and tidy, and it will not be messed up even if the movements are big. As the saying goes, the head can be cut and the blood can flow, but the hairstyle cannot be messed up. CCTV believes that this drama should not be released frequently, calling it a magic drama, implying that similar works should be produced less in the future. Quing Ping Li. Why has Quing Ping Li become a highly criticized costume drama? When it was first broadcast on TV, it was highly anticipated, and the expectations at that time were indescribable. However, the ratings gradually went downhill. The score dropped from 8.2 to 6.4 in a flash. The reason for the decline in ratings is that it is incompatible with the light and happy drama that the general audience likes. Therefore, it is destined not to become a hot selling product. All works published by Noon Sunshine are praised as immortal works. However, this drama is unique. History has been tampered with, and the plot is not only delayed. The lines are also one of the most eye-catching criticisms in this drama. When the actors recite the lines, it often reminds people of the scene of reciting textbooks. Despite this, the scenery in the play is very eye-catching, and every frame can be an ideal choice for wallpaper. No matter how charming the scenery is, it can't withstand the delay of the story. The Princess Wee Ion. Ju Julian may not have expected that he spent 80 million to invite Angela Baby to protect the pregnancy with all his heart and soul. He actually fell into the embarrassing situation of collective salary demands by the Water Army. Although the male lead Zhang Hamlian's acting skills are excellent, they are eclipsed by Angela Baby's staring acting skills. A pair of innocent eyes stare dully at every turn, and the expression seemed very embarrassed. We have no way of knowing how Angela Baby felt after coming out. After watching it, the audience inevitably felt embarrassed. Angela Baby has been filming in front of the green screen from the beginning to the end. As soon as her part appeared, the background was immediately blurred, and even cleverly cut out. In summary, Angela Baby has never starred in a scene with other actors. The main reason for this bad decision was that she was pregnant at the time, and she made this decision to ensure safety. Keisha often starred in Empresses in the Palace when she was pregnant. She not only played the role perfectly, but also showed her unparalleled talent. She even wore Quang Dynasty vase bottom shoes all the way. The difference between them is simply a world of difference. In the end, this drama could not escape the criticism of CCTV. Conclusion. These works are just satires of some current domestic dramas. I hope to see more conscientious works, and look forward to many actors and screenwriters creating excellent works. It will not last long to gain attention only by relying on traffic. Next news. They keep getting film contracts, but they ruin everything they act. These three acting idiots in the film and television industry should take a break. As star actors, they should be the role models of performance in everyone's mind. However, they are now frequently taking on film projects, but their performance is gradually fading, which is shocking. Whenever I see some acting idiots in the entertainment industry perform, I can't help but sigh. Actors should perform what kind of image they should create, instead of performing something that destroys something. Although film contracts are coming one after another, these poor actors are really embarrassing. Let's take a look at which poor actors in the entertainment industry need to reflect. Yang Mi. Recently, Yang Mi's acting skills have frequently become a hot topic. Many viewers expressed disappointment with her performance, believing that her acting skills lack depth and sometimes even make mistakes. Yang Mi's performance in Three Lives Three Worlds Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms is amazing. She played by Jin, whether it was showing the image of a fairy with a fairy spirit or showing the tenacity and courage after experiencing hardships, it left a deep impression on people. At that time, Yang Mi portrayed the role deeply into the hearts of the people, as if she was by Jin herself, making the audience completely immersed in the story. However, Yang Mi's recent performance in Fox Spirit Matchmaker was somewhat disappointing. To be honest, the subject matter and production of this drama are very attractive, but Yang Mi's acting skills have become the focus of everyone's attention. 
Some people commented online that her performance of pretending to eat in the play was very awkward, giving people a feeling of going through the motions, lacking the sincerity and dedication before. Everyone was a little disappointed with this fact, because Yang Mi has always been recognized as a powerful actor, and her acting skills have always been recognized, but this time in Fox Spirit Matchmaker the performance makes people feel a little overwhelmed. In order to discuss Yang Mi's acting skills, CCTV6 Princess has specially produced an 8-minute video to discuss her performance in depth. CCTV Film Review also specially invited the famous screenwriter Wang Halen to comment. This move is rare enough to highlight Yang Mi's status in the entertainment industry. Wang Halen evaluated Yang Mi's two latest works, Harbin 1944 and Nothing Can't Be Solved by a Hot Pot, and gave positive comments. However, he did not hide the fact that Yang Mi's acting skills won him a high evaluation of 7 to 8 points, but the effects of this effort could only get 5 points. In some cases, Yang Mi's performance may seem a bit awkward, and the main reason should be that she needs to consider more carefully when choosing roles. Only when she chooses a role that suits her can she perform at her best, because not every role is suitable for her. The meaning is that perhaps due to the lack of comprehensive training, Yang Mi has certain limitations in acting, which leads to her slyly lack of acting experience. In terms of performance, Wang Halin also pointed out that Yang Mi's performance method is relatively single, as if she is only good at using limited ways to show emotions, so the audience will feel a lack of layers and depth. He suggested that Yang Mi spend more time on basic skills and try different performance methods, so that she can move forward in her acting career more steadily and deeply. Although Yang Mi has some minor shortcomings in acting, she has always been striving hard and pursuing progress, which is something we can all learn from. Zhang Han Speaking of Zhang Han, Let's Watch Meteor Shower Together was very popular at that time, and Zhang Han was very popular at that time. His reputation almost surpassed the four heavenly kings. He was simply the prince charming in the minds of countless girls, and he was loved at first sight. However, the years are so cruel. Today, Zhang Han can be said to be exuding a more greasy temperament. Watching him appear in front of the camera, people can't help but sigh and sigh. Perhaps it was because Let's Watch Meteor Shower Together deeply influenced Zhang Han, and his love for that role may have been deeply rooted and he still can't extricate himself. Wherever he goes, he exudes a domineering president atmosphere, as if he is the male protagonist who can control everything. In addition, in order to realize his dream of being a domineering president, he personally planned and starred in Gentlemen of East District 8, which is really hard to describe. Zhang Han's acting skills in the play are simply impeccable, and various wonderful scenes are continuous, and the audience can't help but shout that they are addicted. Zhang Han's acting skills, plots, and lines in the play are embarrassing and unbelievable. Why is this drama criticized and unpopular? First of all, Zhang Han's performance is too exaggerated. Whether it is actions or facial expressions, it makes people feel very deliberate, which makes the audience unbearable. There are many shots in this drama that are full of greasy and embarrassing plots. The most serious mistake is to offend women. The official also asked Zhang Han, what kind of sincerity does this drama embody? I thought Wang Ziyaming was already very greasy, but I didn't expect that the king of greasy world turned out to be Zhang Han. Even if Wang Ziyaming finished a good drama, he could only reward himself with a dominant boss movie. Zhang Han's current representative work is only Let's Watch Meteor Shower Together, and other works are very few. Liu Tao Liu Tao, who has been in the entertainment industry for more than 20 years, has won numerous honors with many classic works. Whether in TV dramas or when participating in activities, she has shown a particularly stable and elegant temperament. She played a princess in My Fair Princess 3. At that time, her beauty was simply dazzling. She interpreted the temperament of the princess vividly and attracted the hearts of many audiences. As who in Demigods and Semi-Devils and by Sushan who appeared later, whether playful or steady, left a deep impression on people, and can be said to have reached a double peak in beauty and acting skills. Gradually, Liu Tao's age began to limit her choice of roles. Except for the slightly recognizable vase heroine in Nirvana and Fire, her roles in modern dramas are simply unoriginal. The characters in Ode to Joy, I Really Love You, Starry Sea and other dramas are either female elites in the workplace or good wives and mothers. It has reached the point where people feel that the roles are repeated, which is really speechless. When it comes to Ode to Joy, we have to talk about Liu Tao's performance in the play, which can be said to be somewhat bland and boring. She plays Andy, a career woman, which is very consistent with her image, but she does not seem to have made much breakthrough in acting. Throughout the series, 
she has always shown a calm and rational image. Although her performance is stable, it lacks the kind of breakthrough moments that make people shine. Occasionally, it feels a bit deliberate, as if to maintain that perfect image. Of course, although this may be due to the requirements of the role itself, as an actor, you should actively explore a variety of different ways of acting to show a wider potential to the audience. Although Liu Tao has a lot of excellent scripts and resources at hand in recent years, her acting seems to be nitpicked by everyone, just like a plain idiot in the entertainment industry. Her performance always makes people feel casual, and there seems to be no progress. No matter what role she plays, she can't convey the real feeling. In the past two years, Liu Tao has been like a desperate woman, filming one drama after another. It is almost impossible to find someone more diligent than her in the entertainment industry. She can be seen in both popular and unpopular dramas, but unfortunately, despite her numerous dramas, her reputation has never improved. The main reason why she has been criticized recently is that she keeps playing roles that pretend to be young. No matter how much makeup a 50-year-old person puts on, she can't show the feeling of being 18 years old. I hope Liu Tao can think carefully about the script and avoid wasting the opportunity in her hands. As a mature and charming actress, she doesn't have to play the role of a girl, which is really hard to accept. A real actor relies on strength, not age and appearance. After all, acting is the most important. The gorgeous coat and empty inner of the entertainment industry. The current entertainment industry is like a battlefield without gunpowder. Actors have abundant resources and film contracts are pouring in. However, acting seems to be put aside and gradually cannot keep up with the pace of this prosperous world. Think about those actors who were smart in acting and portrayed their roles in their youth. They once made us love them deeply. Now they seem to be in trouble. While they have abundant resources and wide popularity, their acting skills seem to stagnate or even regress. Perhaps it is the turmoil of fame and fortune, or the interference of traffic, that has caused them to forget their original intentions and lose the truth that acting is the fundamental truth of actors. Some actors seem to be kidnapped by a role because the success of that role has made them famous. These actors frequently play similar roles in similar performances, causing the audience to feel aesthetic fatigue. Although these actors are popular and cachet is high, their performances gradually become awkward and lose their persuasiveness. In the current era of traffic supremacy, many actors often ignore the improvement and cultivation of their acting skills in pursuit of exposure and popularity. This phenomenon actually reveals the existence of the traffic myth in the entertainment industry. What they pursue is immediate benefits, not future growth. Such actors may receive short-term attention, but will eventually disappear from the audience's memory. In order to compete for resources and opportunities, actors often ignore the importance of their own inner cultivation, which also reflects the fiercely competitive industry environment. What they pursue is external brilliance and splendor, not internal fullness and richness. Such performers, even with abundant resources, find it difficult to win the true recognition and respect of the audience. In conclusion, it's a long story. Those actors who have resources but poor performance in the entertainment industry really need to reflect deeply. They need to realize that the real core competitiveness of an actor lies in acting. Only by constantly improving acting skills and inner cultivation can we make deeper and more stable progress in the entertainment industry. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,